Hello everybody and welcome to more Deadlock. Today we are picking our new character for ranks. Let's go ahead and see what wheel rolled for us. We have to choose Shiv, Lash, Ivy, Yamato, or Dynamo. We will play this for next week. We are officially banning guys today. Here we go. We roll. Ooh. Yamato. All right. It's going to be a Yamato week, bro. Ah, looks like we got Yamato pick. Now, Yamato is a samurai that kind of gets in the front line, does decent damage, kind of okay in the early game from what I understand. But I'm excited to learn her because she has mechanics that I need to really improve upon in the game in general. So we'll hop in now for our ranked update. Last week, we put out a video showcasing that we were Archon 4, and today we have ranked up one spot. Archon 5. I was wondering if I was going to rank up a little bit more, maybe be on the edge of Archon 6 or even moving into Oracle, but hey, improvement is improvement. Uh, I think I had like a 65-70% win rate, so I'm not sure what that means in terms of the whole MMR system, but hey, we'll see how that goes. And you know, Yamato, uh, I'm going to try really hard, but I don't know if I can improve my rank plan on her. We'll see. Let's hop in. All right, welcome to the game. So this is Yamato, as I mentioned, a Samurai Sword Lord. Uh, hang on, I want to see if I can not be in lane. Yo, is anyone else mind soloing? I'm, I'm learning this character and prefer to be in a 2v2. No worries if you can't. All right. Looks like a no. Anyways, we're going to be getting our power slash, which is a vertical attack. Let's me poke from the front. We'll be getting our crimson slash second, which gives me an AoE slash that heals people up. I have my ult, which will be a shadow transformation. Whenever I ult, I become invincible. Uh, and reset all of my cooldowns. Not as strong as you would think, though, because there is a two-second windup. And then Flying Strike, which lets me dive people. So this is a build that I'm working on with this character. My thought process is that I am going to try and go for Punchy Punches. Where is she? Oh. Gonna try and go for Punches in the early game. And try to trade people with... What the hell? She dashed right through me. That was crazy. I've never seen that before. Let's get out of here before we get picked off. Uh, try to trade in that regard, and then go for some DPS in the mid to late game. Uh, Magic Carpet is going to be my source of movement. Will it be a bad call? I don't know yet. But we'll try it. Early game, I'm going to be using my poke to try and poke people out with my one. Uh, all those Ivy's doing a really good job of harassing me. Ooh. Coming in. I want to get lane advantage really badly. Okay. Come in for my slash. I want 50 bucks right away so I can buy my first life skill, which is going to give me a lot of strength. Here it is. Excuse me, extra region. Not lifesteal. Okay, go for our last hit. Nice deny by them. Now, Yamato is one of the slowest auto attackers in the game in terms of velocity. So you will be losing out on deny souls. And it's probably something that I'm going to be accounting for as well. So I want to have so much aggression on my opponent so they don't have time to do that to me, right? Okay, keep the poke going. Missing all of my shots. Now, your right-click is an AoE grenade. I will admit that I'm not very good at using it yet. But that's something that we're going to improve upon a lot in the future here on this character. Keep the punches up if I can. Going for the parry. Ooh, nice harass. Ow, I took way too much damage from there. That was a nice attempt to get the parry damage on them. Sally didn't go through for me. Okay. We'll let her get that farm. She has a gargoyle that obviously I need to be aware of here. Okay, let's start backing out. I'm going to go buy my next item. Looks like we're going to have a brawl with Ivy. Ivy's an interesting character because, like, I feel not terrified of her, but then when she gets, like, a good stun on me, like, I feel like I just got outplayed so hard. Moving in. Go for a slash. Go for another punch if we can. Trying to get a parry again. She's not doing it. There we go. Now, I'm pretty sure that's a really large cooldown on that character. Looks like she's hanging out back there. Can I get this from here? Let's see. Wow, that's like a lot harder to aim than I thought. That'd be more like Kelvin. Not even close. Okay, so now I have my two, which is basically attack on Titan. Get straight up, just dive on the targets. Okay, 
keeping the poke up where I can, trying to harass. It seems like my one is going to be like my big harass in this character. Okay, I have the minions with me, so I don't mind being aggressive here. Try and get the aggression, trying to poke her from afar. Nice, got the poke going. Okay, I'm feeling pretty good. I'm feeling pretty confident. Slowly whittling her down, trying to play around my heels if I can. Eating way too much damage there. Oh my god, I did not realize I was eating that much damage. That was really bad of me. Okay. I want a Mystic Shaw on this character, honestly. Okay, let's back up. Ivy has some of the highest stamina in the game, by the way, so that's why I'm not diving her under the tower. She has, I think, five bars in the early game, which is bonkers good. Okay, next thing we're going to farm is our Torment Pulse, so I need 3,000 for that. I'm going to try and just be effective on this character uh, with minimal amount of money. I also have Monster Rounds, which means I take less damage from minions. And I'm hoping to bank on that for when I can die people. All right, let's see how good this is. Ooh, nice parry. But I think I can life steal this. Nice combo by her. Let's go back. So when I dive in next time, I'm not going to go for a punch. I think I'm going to try to go for my one poke and then mix in the punch afterwards. So it looks like that was pretty easy for her to guess, right? Keeping the aggression up. She's doing a really good job of harassing me. I won't lie to you. And trying to deny my farm. Oh my god, she's actually ahead of me by 3k, it looks like. Okay, we have our ult now, so that's good. And we also got a dodge on her. Okay, good pressure. Keep running her. Nice, trying to die. There we go. Got a couple of good knives. Let's back out. Don't take too much damage. You can see like the dance on this character, right? Keeping the harassment up. Jesus, healing, man. Just healing. Dodging. Go for the poke. Nice. Good damage. Good damage. Uh oh. Uh oh. We're gonna all here. This makes me invincible. Looks like she's backing up well enough. So let's go ahead and go for the farm and then back out. I think. No point in chasing this. Okay. So that's what our ult does. We get invincibility. You see how short it is, right? We'll fix that later on. Duration extender. Uh, in our lane, we're zero 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 against our opponent. They're ahead of us by two hundred farm. Now, I do think this character is going to be a little bit on the weaker side in the early game. Oh, interesting. There you go. Trying to get the parry to miss. We go for it down. She won't have it up. Oh, that missed! I'm so sad about that. I thought for sure that was going to hit. Not the case, apparently. Keep the poke up. Now, I do get really, really scary when I get two points into my one, as it will let me slow down my opponent, which I like. And then I think I'm going to put two points into my four as well, which will give me movement speed. Uh, so that'll come in the future. I keep coming back to buy. I'm so used to my other characters. Ooh, ooh. This character is like perfect for getting away from me, huh? There we go. Good punch. There we go. Keeping the punches going. Heals. Okay, she's going to get out. Whew. wonder if a melee charge would be worth on this character. Doo -doo -doo. Let's go this way. There we go. Okay, so now we have to slow on our one, which should make it a bit easier to chase down our opponent. So you see now that they're slowed. 
Okay, that's fine. Good damage, good damage. Keep poking. Looks like they're ulting, so we're gonna just get away from this. As that bomb is some decent damage. I don't wanna deal with that. If I could help it. There we go. Keep our poke up. Man, how is she healing so much? This is insane. I feel like I'm harassing so much. Okay, let's back out. We have our ult, so I'm not too scared of being aggressive here. Let's go ahead and get out of here. Grab our Torment Pulse. That'll help us out with our damage, spear damage. But as you can tell, I'm not quite getting through her. Let me check and see why she's so strong here. Monster rounds, okay. Regen, uh, healing rinds. Okay, all right, all right. Looks like she's building everything to survive. Okay, keep the post going. I am tormenting a little bit better now, so that feels good. Okay, big ult. She actually might be ahead of me here. I need to be careful. Let's get my torment pulse, keep her low. There we go. Poke in. Man, Ivy's actually really hard to kill. <laughs> I can't tell if I'm fucking up or if just like my build sucks or what. I've never actually like soul lane against an Ivy before. Also, it looks like I gotta lead this character a little bit more compared to my other ones. The spirit urn is waiting to be claimed. Getting those heals from her minions. Let's back out. Looks like she's pushing. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and look at our next item here. We have Decay at 12.50, so we'll pick that up. That reduces healing. I think it's gonna be instrumental for this lane. We will now upgrade our four, which will give us movement speed, so we can go for some chase down potential now. So our one will slow them, and then our four will give us movement speed. So hopefully we can just hit on their faces. At least that's the hope anyways, right? I think I might wanna get that Decay before I go for a kill, actually. Let me go ahead and back up. Let's look at it now. Uh, I also need to work on this mechanic, which is Kinetic Dash, which we're going to be picking up later on. The idea is that you can dash when you have two bars, but it becomes free with Kinetic Dash. It allows you to like, kind of jump on people, right? Damn, that AoE is really, really far, isn't it? Okay. Nice parry. Nice job. Good job by this Ivy. Ivy knows what she's doing. Okay, we want Soul Shredder bullets now. Yeah, this character is going to be a character I'm going to have to uh, figure out how to make work. Because I think I'm going to struggle on her a lot. <laughs> and our rank is going to be in trouble. This is where you do it. This is where you kind of limit test, right? I think uh, Ivy might just have all the tools to handle this character, honestly. At least how I'm building her. Let's get to lane. Keep our farm if we can. Dodging the bomb. Okay, we're gonna decay her. Make her nice and low. Trying to go for the parry. There we go, now we hit her. God, the amount of stamina she has. It's just so much for this character, huh? Poof. Okay, we're gonna move up here. I think she's buying right now. She sure is. Try and siege. Yeah, I feel like it's doing no damage. Yeah, I just do no damage to her now. <laughs> uh, let me go ahead and look at this. What is she building? Is there anything I can do to counter? Looks like she's doing close quarters and headshot booster, so she's just better than me, because I have to get into close range to do damage to her. Ooh, that's a good pickup. Back out. Just trying to farm what we can. Okay. Surely she doesn't go for it. Oh, she's going for it. We're going to ult here. We're just going to push up the wave. Okay, let's get out of here before she throws bombs on me. 
Does that kill me? And it does. Nice Ivy gameplay. All right, let's pick up our Mystic Vulnerability now. That should make them a little bit on the weaker side. I did uh, tell my team I didn't want a solo lane, so here we are. We'll do what we can. Quick match is really weird because like it's not really like a good environment to learn the game because like people aren't trying their hardest. They're just kind of running it down. Thank you. So I just need to like focus on myself and keep trying to get better, right? Okay, let's head to purple here and continue farming. I think my goal here is to farm and see when I start feeling strong. Uh, generally, I get like a lot of YouTube comments about like how to play characters, and generally, like I kind of have a plan for what I'm trying to do, so it doesn't really help me out too much. This is a scenario where I do need help. If you think you're good at Yamato, please link me a build or give me some ideas to play with her, because uh, this is a character that I feel like is a bit of a struggle bus to play, especially in today's meta. Um, but I'm hoping that I am wrong, right? Like I would love to make her work. Okay. Let's get out of here. Keep running. It looks like if I play off my decay, I can get some decent damage on her. But even then, it seems like a little bit of a struggle bus, huh? Keep this lane push in. There we go. Far more we can. Uh, I do want to start roaming, but I don't have any boots in this build yet because I'm trying to go for the magic carpet. I'm wondering if that is a mistake. Dude, you know what would be really good? Just get my toxic bullets on her or heal bane. Okay, keeping the damage up. Okay, we got our one completely upgraded now. I don't know what that means for me. Let me read that after this. Let me go ahead and go and get some damage. Let's back up. Okay, my one is upgraded, so now I do 200 damage when I fully charge. Ah! Okay, good damage on them. Pushing them back. There we go. We got a flex spot thanks to our teammates. $3,000 will give me that toxic bullets. Maybe I'll start picking that up. Because even though I have that curse, this, um... Oh, I lost my tower. I can't buy that. Shoot. All right, let's keep moving. Let's keep moving. This Ivy going for full heal is definitely... Kind of making me struggle, right? I don't like that. Start backing up. Okay. Back this way. Hey, Hazy, you want to kick this Ivy? Damn. Just absolutely zero teamwork <laughs> in quick match. Okay, we pop our own. Almost we'll decay. Damn, this Ivy is just running me down. What a legend. Poof. Okay, let me get my toxic bullets here. Oh, now Haze wants to come. Hmm, interesting. Did she type and I missed it? Is the Ivy? Eh, look like it. There we go. Now we're getting some help from that teammate. Love to see it. Love to see it. Okay, green's pushed out. Looks like blue's chilling. I'm gonna try and sneak out of that purple lane now that they're on there. And go push some other lanes. Because I really, really, really want to just farm up and see how strong this character can be. I think he's she's more of like a mid-game character or good in 2v2s as mentioned. God, I got destroyed in that 1v1. Okay, let's keep the push going. There we go. Keep pushing, keep pushing. I'm coming to green. Finally, I get to play with teammates. Feels good, man. Feels good, feels good, feels good. Okay, coming up to help with the damage. Firing upon them. There we go. Nice. Toxic shocks are hitting. Now, why I'm looking at toxic bullets is because uh, each character has a stacking amount that they have on their character, and... Uh, Yamato has a stacking of 31, which is kind of nutty of getting the full bleed out on people. I think sticking that with Spirit Lifesteal might be super strong 
if I can lock it down. So that's my plan is to get Toxic Bullets and then Spirit Light Steel. She does 31 stack and you have to get up to 100, I believe, for it to start procking on people. So within four auto attacks, in theory, up close, I should be able to start making them bleed pretty quickly. So I'm grabbing that early. It gives me a little bit of extra HP as well. And then I'm hoping that I can spread that in fights with my ultimate and just life steal away. But we'll see. It could be just a pipe dream, right? It's a little red icon that you see on the minions there. And it'll be on Let's heroes as we go through it. Thank you for the heals. Uh, we do now have our spirit line steal. So let me go ahead and back and buy that now and see how it feels. So we'll do 5% second bleed damage for three seconds. It builds up 31% per a shot, which is pretty nice. So within three shots, I'll be at 93%. Obviously, I'll clear that 100% on the fourth shot. Pick up a spirit life steal and let's see how this looks. That's what I'm kind of building around. That's kind of the whole thought process in this build that I'm going for. Uh, we got a pocket in the middle lane. Okay, I'm going to keep pushing lanes. Looks like our team is about to fight, so I'm going to push this lane and then go help them. Team got a kill on the Ivy. Nice job. Love to see that. Well then, let's go ahead and grab our... Let's do our engage range here. Now, one thing that is a bit of a bummer is the Tuckable doesn't stack on top of uh, structures. So that's a bummer. Okay, we have Mo and Krill coming. He just silenced us. Let's leave. And that's a little jump mechanic that I was talking about right there. That jump dash that you just saw there. I'm trying to perfect that. It reminds me of Donkey Kong games, actually. Okay, there we go. Let's keep going. I'm going to run over to my teammate here on Abrams and help secure this Guardian. And then I'll probably look at the split push once I get my Magic Carpet, which is going to be my next major buy. I'm grabbing Magic Carpet for the movement speed. And because I'm convinced it's the broken ability and everyone should be running it. We have my curse here. Fainting from the show themselves. There we go. Oh my god. What is that damage hitting me? Jesus Christ. Whew. Not the pick, but damn. Thank you, Abrams. Okay, let's go back to work here. Trying to poke where I can. Team is doing well. I'm actually going to go to yellow here and get farming. My god. This Ivy has insane aim. I think she was the one pelting me from across the map. Granted, I did give her a couple of kills, so she's got some farm, but... What? Maybe one medium item? That's about it. I need to go get this farm. I can't, actually can't farm this yet. Yeah, we got to save this again. Okay. Get this nice and pushing. Go for a big punch. There we go. There we go. Nice. Okay, back in the game here. Let's head this way. Uh, I need 6,200, so that's what we're going to do. We're just going to farm until we get our magic carpet. And see how good this character is when it comes to split pushing. I don't have much life steal, but as you can see, as I spread this and I keep it stacked, I'm getting life steal on all this here. Okay, so build's kind of coming together. Look at that on the left part of my map there, getting 160 life steal. Okay, that's pretty good. Okay, so I need to get really good at like aiming this on multiple people, huh? Ricochet might be good on this character and stack the bleed. If that works, I might try that. The only problem with this build is obviously it does seem very, very, um... It does seem very expensive, right? Which means I need to be good at farming or good at killing, which can be uh, a rough cycle for you, right? I also need to get better at putting my curse on people. Slowing Hex might be a better option, but we'll see in the future. Because I do have three ways of preventing people from healing with heal bait and toxic bullets. And I don't know what the best option is. We'll figure that out over time. Looks like our team just got a big kill, though. So I'm going to go ahead and take this opportunity to backdoor. Good job, team. Okay, 
Okay, keep the damage going. Get up here and slash. Go for the shot. Looks like he's gonna start backing out, but that's fine. I wanna go by anyways. I got my goal down here, right? Let's go ahead and boost on home. We're gonna grab our magic carpet, which is gonna give us spirit power, bonus health, and ability du duration, which uh, is great for all of my abilities, actually. Let's pick that up. Okay. And then we'll head back to the fights here. Okay, so... We're now at 24 minutes, and I've, we, I could definitely farm a lot better than I did, right? So about 23, 24 minutes. Looks like it's going to be my power spike. Let's see how effective this is, right? I'm going to go ahead and split push and see how much attention I can get on the map. Especially considering that I am, uh, what, 0, 3, and 1? They might just send one or two people, and then I want to see if I can just fight. Okay. Okay, let's start getting some damage on him. Get that toxic bleed going. Get the damage bleeding. He's still bleeding. Let's get on our magic carpet and try and chase him down. Follow it up. Nice. Got the kill. Love it. All right, we know them against us here. Let's go ahead and kill our turrets if we can. Where's she at? Is she coming here? She should be. Okay, kill these turrets. It's a little bit too. Oh my god, I'll kill all the turrets. I don't care, I'll do it. Ah, again, those turrets are so toxic. <laughs> okay, so 24 minutes. Looks like it might be our power spike. Um, although that pocket was a lot weaker than I was, so I can't put too much talk on this yet. Right? Ooh, the pun just keeps the toxic bullets going. I didn't realize that. That's huge. So I can mix that in for damage if I need to. Okay, he stole that from me. It's fine. Still on my ultimate, so I'm not too worried. And then I'm going to go into my next element where I start building up Frenzy and Berserk, which means when I'm lower on HP, I get more weapon damage. And that's why I hope is kind of to stay in fights for a while and get my life steal going. Will it be good? We're not sure yet. Good damage, good damage, great setup, Dynamo. Okay, we see a pocket behind us. Let's move in here. I still have my... Oop. I still have my ult, so I'm not too worried yet. Yes. Oop. Let's get out of here. Um, I'll grab this high ground. I am a little bit worried. Obviously. Woo! Let's our ult. Nice! Kelvin with the engage. We're gonna pretend that we baited that. Let's some shots to help out. There we go. Okay, so maybe I play this more of like a baiting style, right? Almost kind of like similar to my Geist. Just poking around the fights, letting people clean it up. Don't try to like get kills myself, but if kills come to me, great. Okay, okay, I think I'm getting a handle on her. Apologies, I had to sneeze. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. That damage is hitting. Let's get out of here. <laughs> that Denimo came in and healed me. Kept me alive. Thanks, Denimo. All right, let's head over here. Okay, so this is the jump I want to learn, right? So you have two. There it is. So that's the kinetic dash that I'm trying to get good at. And you're supposed to be able to get a free one with the next couple of items that I'm going to buy. So let's go ahead and go grab those now. Kinetic dash will give me a free one on that. Fleet footwork I'm going to hold off on. I don't think I need that yet. I thought I would need it. Not yet. Let's get our Berserker as well. Okay, so now we're a lot stronger for sure. And then we can start building up defenses here soon. Let's get rid of my extra regen. And then I'll start phasing out my punches, I think, around this time. No point in keeping them around. Right, let's go ahead and fly over to purple. And get that pushed out. Oh, so it looks like my team might be into the game though soon. Oh god, we're up 40k. Alright, well, my team is up 40k. I didn't do shit this game, I'll be honest. My dynamo carried. But I learned a lot.
and hopefully you guys know how this character works now. Please let me know in the comments below if you prefer this type of video on Tuesday where I do a run through on the new character I'm learning rather than teaching you guys how to play uh, a character that I learned in ranked for the last week. I had some feedback in my YouTube comments. They were getting tired of seeing Geist, which I can understand. I love Geist. She's one of my favorite characters now, but I can stand seeing the same video over and over is annoying. So should I have my Tuesday instead of a how to play video? Just have, hey, here's my introduction to a new character or what? You know, let me know in the comments. Okay, I'm going to push out this lane and then join up my team. And then I'll keep working on this build right now. I feel like the early game feels weak on this build. Uh, it could have been just weird because I'm facing off in Ivy. I need to play against more enemies and see how it goes. But that might also just be the case for Yamato. She might just be weak in the early game. Or I need to get better at my limit testing, right? Which is definitely a possibility. GG. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see y'all tomorrow. Uh, and I'll see you around. Bye.